excuse me, I just got here, and boy, are my arms tired. It, yes, he well, flew that was it, close. Yeah. Well, I saw you when you came in, and you were close to flying. Well, I, I think I your just, feet, uh, feet, 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 feet <laughs> were going to touch the floor. If that's easy for you to uh, say, Mr. Johnson. Is. Welcome to Cooking Cheap, we right. think. Right, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. What are we doing today? I don't know. Let's bring that witch in here. Where Where's is that she? witch when you need her? Oh, there she is, right on cue. The, the uh, cue meister is better than it used to oh. be. Have you noticed that? You know, she looks... Peek it. Like she's she looks been peak it. to a Mary Kay convention. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Just too no, much No, I'm going to make you read it this time. Dear boys, my wife is so fat <laughs> that every time she comes in the room where our daughter is playing, the kid picks up her school flute and plays the too fat polka. <laughs> no, I didn't teach little baby Ruth to play that song. She learned it from an old Arthur Godfrey record my mother plays every time my wife and I go to visit. Anyway, y'all got any salad recipes I can feed old Bessie? Mm -hmm. And it's signed Piggy Lard. <laughs> Of Hippie Hawaii. Oh, my heaven. <laughs> you remember that? She's too <laughs> fat for me. Huh. Yeah. That's all we can sing because yeah. now that, uh, you know, we're on the big satellite in the sky, right. we don't, well, you understand. Well, anyway. You know. But, uh, yeah. Well, I guess. What does it mean? Well, let's do salad. Oh, of course. <laughs> I'm going to do a tropical. I thought you'd never get it. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. It was too subtle for me, the letter was. Tropical chicken salad. Oh, and it good. looks to be wonderful. Even people that don't like salad would like this, I think. And who sent it in? Oh, uh, yeah. And it was sent in. <laughs> Thanks for helping me yeah. out. I've had a rough day. <laughs> sent in by Ruth Rickenbach of Waterford Works, New Jersey. Oh, that's great. That's where they make the... Uh, Waterford Crystal? Crystal. I don't know. I'm just making <laughs> it up. And mine, uh, which is a rice salad supreme, looks real tasty, uh, was sent in by Kathy Waring of Philadelphia. And the, uh, the very lovely Doris, Doris, will be here after a while. <laughs> Go and ahead. she's coming in with a, a, a brand new Sears wig and uh, <laughs> also a recipe called One Dish Dinner, sent in by Evelyn X. Lipschitz of Wynwood, Pennsylvania. Some of Stevie's people. Uh, Stevie Winwood's right. people. That's right. So anyway, can I start mine? Oh, please! You all can right. finish it for all I care. All right, I've got in a microwave safe dish a big old slice of ham that looks about three quarters of an inch thick, and it's about a pound. And we're going to cover it with some brown sugar. So I'll just get this. It's a little lumpy, but that's all right. It's going in the microwave in a minute, and a little sprinkle, like a eighth of a teaspoon or less of cloves and I'm going to put a little pat of butter on it and Looks we're going like to like baked ham to me mm -hmm. and we're going to microwave it for six minutes a microwave recipe yeah on this show that's wonderful well this is the part of the salad ingredients that's got to be done so if uh, everybody will excuse my back Larry made a lot of fun of it recently I think we ought to sell space on it and rent it out it's a billboard, <laughs> although it's not as big as it used to be. <laughs> but then it's not as expensive as it used to be billboard-wise. There's uh -huh. a startling top of Mr. Oh, Johnson's Oh, wait a minute, head. wait a minute. Oh, he's done something wrong. I was going to, Doris insisted I put some wax paper on it. Oh, for She's heaven's absolutely sake. right. You know she'll come out and smack you if you don't All do right. what you're supposed to do. Now I've got four cups of instant rice, <laughs> oh, instantly heavens. cooked, and we're gonna throw that in the salad bowl, and then I'm gonna add some other stuff, so Larry, you go ahead. Well, my recipe starts out with uh, cooked chicken, about two cups worth, and so I have already pre-cooked it so I would not burn my delicate hands on behalf of oh. television. I just didn't feel like it. And the first thing you need to do is take this and just chop it up. And you may want to chop those little fatty things off the edge. Nothing worse than getting one of those wad of that in your mouth when you're trying to eat this stuff. See that little fat thing right there? Get that off of there. Oh, don't talk about her that way. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just trying to make this a heart-healthy recipe. And so anyway, what you do is just chop those into nice little, little pieces like so. About two cups worth. And I used uh, skinless, boneless, but if you... You can use it with bone and save a little bit of money, and you can use it with everything on it and save a lot of money and tear all that off of it later on. 
but I just got in from a long trip to Washington, D.C. and didn't have time to do all that, so I used skinless, boneless, and there it is. Chicken breasts, all white meat, it's good for you, it's healthy, it's delicious. Chop that all up, a little bit smaller than that, about two cups worth. This looks to be a wonderful, this is almost good enough to be a dessert, this is, so sort of, it's a little fruit salad. Things are sort of popping back there in the uh -huh. microwave. Is there? Did you put some metal in there or something? Uh huh. <laughs> it's smelling good, though. I'll tell you that. So anyway, we've just about got this chopped, and we'll also take uh, a cup of chopped celery. We're going to do that. And what you do is you prepare the first half of this and, and put it in the refrigerator to chill. And then once you do that, we'll do all the secretive ingredients later on. So take this and put it into a bowl. That looks to be a little more than two cups, but it's close enough for this show, ladies and gentlemen. This show having never been an exact science under any stretch of the imagination anyway. So then take and chop some celery. I've already washed this off thoroughly, dried it, ran it through the washer and dryer. It's just perfect and uh, chop up some of that, put it in there. And then that should be the greatest of plenty, I would think. About a cup, give or take a little bit. Goes in there. I keep throwing stuff all over the, the thing. And then to that you add a cup of mayonnaise. What? <laughs> the cup measure's behind me. Oh, the cup measure's over here, she told me. <laughs> You know, Doris, if you're going to talk to me while I'm doing the show, you have to talk loud enough so that I don't have to go, what? <laughs> <laughs> now she's laying out Harold. Uh, <laughs> over here. <laughs> just no, you just can't, once she gets started, she's not going to stop until she's finished saying what she's got to say. So anyway, that's a cup. <laughs> Harold says, what did I do now? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Harold is heading for the hills, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be the last time we see him today. And to that, you add a half to one teaspoon of curry powder. There you go. Don't overdo it. It'll give you indigestion real bad. At least that's what a friend told me this week. I just can't do curry. It gives me indigestion. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, I know. But then so did margaritas. Figure that uh -huh. one. This is a person who drinks constantly. Okay, and so you mix that all up. Now what you'll do after you get it all mixed real good and make sure you don't have great big areas of curry laying around. You want that curry to be mixed real good. And what you will then do is put this into the refrigerator. See, that's real nice. You could eat that right there just as it sits and be fabulous. You wouldn't have to do a thing to it. But what you want to do is get that curry flavor going all through that. So you put it in the refrigerator. And when you pull it out 30 minutes later, it's in a different bowl. <laughs> ah. Miracle of electronics. And we'll do the rest of it in a couple of minutes. All righty. Now, with the rice salad, one half of a large white onion chopped, two ribs of celery. Incidentally, the recipe, as we got it, said two stalks of celery. And that's, oh dear. That, that's the wrong terminology. You mean ribs, the single piece. And a green pepper that's been chopped up. And I'm now going to chop a, a tomato and get it ready to go in so that we have all of these wonderful, delicious, healthful vegetables to go in here. So I'm just going to chop on this tomato and... Uh, Larry, if you've got something else to do, you can, or we can watch me do a wonderful job. Oh, let's watch you do that a little bit. I'm right. fascinated by it. Oh, I'm so glad you are. You know, I just pick up so many culinary skills watching you in the kitchen. Well, I'm trying not to. What are to you doing? Oh, just yeah. <laughs> slicing it. I'm trying not to kill myself today with the knife, you know. Well, perhaps it's good that you're doing that and there's a lull in the show because, ladies and gentlemen, I have to use a brand new device. A gentleman from, where, Pennsylvania? Yeah. Sent us this brand new can opener. It's still got all the warning signs. Do not stick your finger in here. Do not, you know, all this stuff. Still got all the stuff on it. It has scared me so badly that I really am almost afraid 
to use the device. It's got so many warnings on it. And to top it all off, I don't have any idea how you go about even using it. Well, this is the goofiest thing. Wait a minute, perhaps what you do is put it up there and push it down. No. Well, Johnson, you've used this, haven't you? No. Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> I was going to depend on you. To uh, Doris has got the directions out. Do See, Spanish or American? Uh, 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 Spanish Either would be one, fine. It doesn't matter. Mr. Johnson is proficient in all languages. I, on the other hand, barely get by on English. Oh, she gives me the ma manual. I don't have time to read the manual. All right, press door release. There we go. Lift the le lever. Where's the lever? Is that the lever? Yeah. Well, that's not a lever. Get old one and open it by hand. I mean, this is only a 30-minute show. <laughs> now, there, that was easy, wasn't it? See, what this teaches you is that you really ought to familiarize yourself with your equipment before you start using it, especially Either if you're doing a TV show. Don't display your ignorant technology <laughs> on the air. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, really good here. Uh, get that out of my way. Okay, now you got to drain uh, uh, about a, uh, what is it, uh, about a 20-ounce can of chunked pineapple. And make sure it's chunked. You know, Mr. Johnson can't tell the difference between <laughs> chunked pineapple and what was that mess you oh, had yes. last year or whatever. And it also was crushed. Uh, uh, and crushed. He doesn't know the difference. An 11 ounce can of mandarin oranges, and I have to drain them. And that's what I'm going to do right now. It should be uh, pretty exciting. Yes. Try just and stay get with rid me. of all that water. Well, I'm still chopping on this tomato, trying to get it done. And I think my ham is done over there, so we'll see in a minute. Now, be sure and ring them out real good, Larry. I'm ringing them out real good. Let me give you my recipe while we're doing all this mess because I don't have everything together just yet to finish this recipe. The tropical chicken salad calls for two cups of cooked chicken, and you chunk that all up into nice bite-sized chunks, a cup of chopped celery, a cup of mayonnaise, a half to one teaspoon of curry powder. You mix all that up, put it in the refrigerator, slam dunk that stuff, in the shelf and leave it there for 30 minutes covered or more. One can of chunk pineapple, this is all the stuff that goes in it after you get finished chilling it. Two large firm bananas sliced, well I forgot I have to do that yet. A can of mandarin oranges, 11 ounce. Uh, seemed like there's something else I missed. A can 20 ounce of chunk pineapple. Some flake coconut salad greens are optional. I brought some today at three quarters of a cup of salted peanuts or cashew halves. And all of that will assemble all that in just a little bit. So anyway, I'm getting ready to assemble this, but I'm not ready yet. I have to, I have to chop up my banana. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you want to come in uh, at this point, or should we go to Mr. Johnson? Earth to Mr. Johnson. Oh, I'm over here getting my ham. Oh, do you it. want me to come to you, or do you want me to go to Miss? Uh, no, let's Lang. let's show everybody what this ham looks like. And you have to let it drain real good, but it's cooked, and now I'm going to dice the ham to go in the salad while Doris comes in. Is that what we're trying to do? Sure. Yes, Bring her indeed. in. You know, she's the busiest lady in show business. Oh, well, look at this pretty dish. As always, Doris has a lovely dish for us. How have you been, Doris? It's, it's always wonderful to... Where'd she go? This show is getting unstructured. Really? Okay. Okay. Um, today, um, you and I are doing chicken, and uh, Laban's is ham. So I, I came dressed for the thing. I've got uh, chicken, and I've got well, you... I've got shrimp in his. So his a shrimp and a chicken sweater, being a ham. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to do my thing. One dish. Yeah, uh, that's dinner. enough. <laughs> One package of elbow macaroni, a half a cup of mayonnaise. How long did you work on that routine? Oh, I'm not coming in here. I had nothing to do. Oh, okay. I can't talk to Harold because he can't hear when we're riding down the road, so I had to think. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a hard thing for me to do. Think. I, I can tell, yeah. <laughs> and one tablespoon prepared mustard, a half a cup of diced apples, a half a cup of diced celery, a half a cup of turkey or chicken, canned or fresh, salt and pepper, a half a head of Boston lettuce, two tomatoes. It says peeled and sliced. I didn't do that this time because uh, these are winter tomatoes and it would be Well, impossible. I'm personally offended, but <laughs> go ahead. Okay, three hard cooked egg sliced and two tablespoons of chopped 
that parsley. Yes, so pretty. And um, I've got and I've got it all decorated. But you could take it like I've got little dishes here with chickens on them, and you and you could put your. You've you know, kind of gone chicken crazy, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> See, and you could put it in a bowl like this, and then mound it up and decorate it, or mm -hmm. even a flat dish, mm -hmm. and do it. Mm -hmm. So I thought that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks an awful lot. And you're and welcome. Get on out of here one time, Louise. Okay. Mr. Johnson, what do you got? Well, I'm dicing my ham. He's slicing and dicing. And uh, well, it, and doing a swell job of it, too. I might, that's a beautiful ham, by the way. Yeah, it is. I don't know where Aunt Doris got this. Well, yes, Aunt Doris helped him out just a little bit. And while he's doing that, I simultaneously am chopping a banana, which does not take any great brain power, but it certainly is a lot of fun to do. And I'm just sort of getting ready to prepare the final hoo-ha on this salad. So there you go. It's a nice little two bananas, very firm. So there we go on that. All right, Johnson? All right. Well, I'm still Well, let's go see the Cook Sisters. All right, we can do that. The Cook Sisters are coming by. You know, we always, when we're in doubt, we always go to them because uh, they're a good filler when we need it real bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> Here they are. Hey, sister. Yeah. I know you don't get out very much anymore. Not too much. Been sitting in this chair for six years. I know. Well, it feels good. Well, hmm. But anyway, you know, if you go out and you clean up your garden in the fall, you won't get eaten alive by the bugs in the spring. Clean in the fall, bugs, bugs in the spring. spring. I think I got it all uh, over me down here. Uh, what's, no, what's, what, what's that other one? What spring forward, fall back? back. No, that's like, something no. else. And I'm Tootsie Cook, and, and we're, we're the, the Cook, Cook sisters. sisters. Oh, yes, indeed. We're still just fluffing and carrying on yes. over here. How are you coming along with that ham, Well, Mr. you know, Johnson? it's not easy to dice this ham the way it is. I just want to tell you that, but I'm getting there. Is it more and difficult than it should ought to be? Is, no, what's the deal on it? it's just a little hard the way it was cut, but that's no problem. Mm -hmm. um, Doris has brought out a version, it's the same dish using shrimp rather than ham, right over here in this, this bowl with the egg on top of it. Lovely garnished thing. And so that's the same salad that I'm doing. Well, while you're well, doing I, that, and I know it's I'm, taking a little bit, I have plenty to do Okay, yet. well, so go ahead. Should I go on ahead yeah, and save the show and try and get something going mm -hmm. here? Okay, now, at this point, you'll you get wish. me back for that remark later on. Here's when you put the whole thing together. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where the excitement begins, right here. Where the rubber meets this the This is road. where the rubber meets the thing. All right, go in there with that. And you put your bananas in there. Seems like an awful lot of bananas for a salad that size to me, but that's what it calls for. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to do what they tell me. You know, I always do that. And into that goes, of course, the pineapple things and the mandarin oranges go in there. And it says also to throw the coconut in there, but I'm going to, well, I guess I will put some in, but I'm going to put a little of that and the nuts on top, I believe, is what I'm going to do. Some flaky, and goodness knows flaky around this place is easy to come by. Some flaky coconut goes in there, mm. and then you toss this. And I'm going to toss it using something that's not intended for that purpose, but I don't have anything else. And boy, are we tossing this crumbly. But I'm doing the best I can. You gotta work the... <laughs> I'd like to see you use your hands. Oh, well, I think I could have used a bowl about four times bigger than this little bitty thing. Who got me this little shrimpy bowl? This is ridiculous. It's okay. Well, I'm getting there. As you can see, I'm making the best of a bad situation and using the thing that you put your spoon on. I mean, the equipment I have to work with is sometimes. It's okay, Harold. It's all right. Harold's afraid that he's going to get smacked because you didn't put the right stuff out. There you go. And also, uh, also, excuse me, <laughs> some sliced cashew halves. I couldn't find cashew halves. They just didn't have them in the crummy store that I operate out of. So oh, I just no. took some. Did you go back to that place? So I just took some re regular cashews and hit them with my fist. And they kind of split apart when you do that. Remember that. Now, the next thing you do is throw that back there. And I brought in some fresh greens from out of the garden. <laughs> uh huh. 
is as fresh as we'll get at this time of the year. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little nest of this fine, wonderful, make sure I get plenty of bananas for Mr. Johnson because he certainly needs those. And just, uh, I think that maybe this plate is a little large for this, but... Well, I'm not <laughs> leaving room for the other stuff. I'm taking it all for my salad because it's worthy of... And I think just to, just to add a special little thing, maybe just a little of that on top, and then, of course, a couple of these salted, hermetically sealed nuts could go in there also and just sort of sprinkle some of those on there. And as you can see, oh, I think that's overdoing it. But as you can see, that should be wonderful. It really should. The curried chicken, I mean, who could argue with that? I'm well, sorry I didn't mean to use the whole plate. Well, I wasn't supposed to. And you're about to use the whole show. Now, <laughs> the, the thing... You take the juice well, from where you microwave the ham slice. Had nothing to say for 20 minutes. With now the brown the sugar and the cloves and everything. And you throw that in, and that's part of your dressing. And here is the salad du jour, the rice salad. Oh, isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. You going to give your recipe? Well, I guess I could. Well, it'd be nice. All right. Rice salad supreme, one slice of boneless ham or a pound of shrimp. Four cups of instant white rice, cooked. <laughs> one green pepper, one half large Spanish onion, two stalks or two ribs of celery, one large tomato, some butter or margarine, uh, a little teeny bit of salt, and a tablespoon of brown sugar, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. Well, there you have it. Well, let's see. And it is beautiful indeed, but you left a whole thing of ham back here, Johnson. Whereabouts? On the floor. Waste not, want not. Well, I'm sorry that I used up all the plates. Well, I, you I also used up all the room. Well, I tried to get her to give me a small bowl, and she argued with me and said uh -huh. I should go with this. Just put it on the side. It won't kill you. I'm going to try mine while he's scooping around and everything. This sure does look good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Who could argue with that? We'll just share this plate and let me get some well, of this out for share you. and share alike. Mmm. Well, I tell you, this is wonderful. This is. And now we're going to go over here on the subdivided plate. Right. <laughs> Where we've got everything in the world. This is an awful lot of food. Well, you know, it really is. Call the orphanage. <laughs> All right, well, let's see how this one is. This that I ham one that you did. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Very I nice. like that. Very nice. Now, is this Doris's here with the... Oh, look, it's got a hair. With the, e <laughs> with the egg. <laughs> that that belonged to one of her little <laughs> dogs. Don't go there, please. <laughs> please, just don't go there. Well, I, I, I got to tell you, Doris, I think you've just reinvented macaroni salad. It's delicious. It is real good, but you know, I never met a macaroni salad I didn't like. I don't believe. Well, let me try this mess over here. Well, I hope you're happy, Judson. You hustled me along, and now we got two whole minutes to fill. Well, good. <laughs> I can. Good. Then we'll listen to you for two minutes. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Mm hmm. <laughs> what do you think? I think it would have been nice to have the salad greens dressed with a little oil and vinegar, perhaps. That probably would have been a great idea. They would look more beautiful, but it, it's quite tasty. They're just for looks, and but you're right. That would have been a nice touch. And this really is a good salad. Mm. I like it. Very good. Mm. I like it so much, I'm going to spend another minute eating it. <laughs> Whether I need to or not, it really is good. Was that a marshmallow? I know it. No, was a there are no marshmallows. You will not accuse me of using marshmallows in this recipe. <laughs> <A> marshmallow. <laughs> hey, you've been gone to church social so long. We need dessert again. Oh, she's got dessert. <laughs> Miss Doris has brought out some extra fortifications in case this twenty Ooh. pounds of food won't hold us until that the end of the so program. Oh, good. Doris always brings in extra food for the crew, which is real sweet of her. She and Harold. It's the only time they get to eat. Well, that's about it. We thank you for coming along. We've had a real good time. And 
come back again. 